Hello friends, coming at you from Kenosha. Tonight is going to be night three of the riots and the looting, as well as the legitimate protesters. And there has to be a distinction made between the legit protesters and the rioters. So here's what I propose we start doing. It has become a moral obligation of the peaceful protesters who outnumber them at least 50 to 1 or 100 to 1. When you see someone getting out of line, getting violent, and, and, and uh, taking the focus off of the cause at hand, that's when you have to just gang up on that person. Don't cause injury, but throw them to the ground immediately. I'm in their hand, a fist about to fly somewhere. Stop it. You dominate them. Believe in yourself. At this point, you're causing so much damage to innocent people, which is at hand and just victimizes more innocent people. So, I would like all of you to start showing up with hog ties in your pockets, <laughs> literally, and duct tape. And when you find one of these, you gang up on them, throw them to the ground, hog tie them really good so he can't get away, duct tape his mouth, maybe even spray paint him so he's easy to find later for the cops to scoop him up like a piece of garbage and take him away. Cannot, uh, you know, the good cops, because you're pretty funny. The good cops are not going to be able to show up anytime and uh, take care of these people. So just boil down to people, people but you're and when you see someone getting out of line with violence, you all gang up on them, throw them to the ground, hog tie them, duct tape over his mouth, spray paint him if you got some spray paint, and let the cops spook him, uh, scoop him up later like garbage. And uh, I don't know how else this is going to stop. Okay. Now, Danielle would like to talk about something important as well. Okay, so I want to talk about the Black Lives Matter protest that I attended with Terrence and Warthen and Kyle Flood, okay? A group of Black Lives Matter protesters here in Kenosha that is headed out to people, our Wisconsin Revolution, the Dems, okay? We're not crazy. We're not all crazy. I know that the pub like to say that, but whatever, we're not. Anyways. So, then there was Black Lives Matter of Lake County. I broadcasted this, you guys. Everybody was encouraging everybody to be peaceful. Not only that, but they were encouraging people not to just attend Black Lives vote. And there was literally a table there to register people to vote. I know because I borrowed it to Terrence and case of water so wild heart does a lot for these kind of things and i just wanted to talk about you know how these rioters these looters that are doing these horrible things to our businesses here in kenosha are not part of our group they are not part of lake county that was here yesterday where we met at the park between ruther and the courthouse that was not part of our group. I don't know that, but most of our group went home between 7.30 and to, to obey the curfew, honestly. We were peacefully protesting, I'm telling you. Well, peaceful protesting and what you might agree with my was yes, 12 and you know, fuck the police and things like that. But you have to understand that black people are angry because they've been oppressed, okay, for like a hundred years. What's going on? And, but most of all, we can be kind to one another, okay? So like, when you see something that you disagree with on Facebook, learn how to scroll, okay? You're not five. You are not five. Stop that. Stop that shit. Okay? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, uh. We ain't doing that no more. That episode's canceled. In the new season, we gon' love one another. That's what we doing, okay? Because my little heart can't take any fucking more. Okay, bye. It's kind a of, thing. Kind of Anger, it's good to be anger. I think there would be something wrong with us. Maybe we might be sociopathic if we weren't angry, but it's important to focus that anger in a way that is productive and not counterproductive. When agitators victimize innocent people with violence, 
and set their businesses on fire and whatever else that they do that's violent and just overall victim that is counterproductive it takes a step back and who's even another killer cop shot an unarmed black man seven times in the back case in point it takes the focus off the cause and adds more victims to the list not so only the that, anger but has when to be we productive. talk about how the times in the back was a criminal, okay, and we try to justify that, we deny this man his humanity and his due process. The same due process that we're affording Nick Mercier, who locked his girlfriend in a closet for three days with a broken nose and arm, and before that he ran her over. Okay, so that guy got off on the three three hundred bucks or a cap. Nick Mercier. Okay, M E R C I E R. Okay, we look this up and we see white privilege at its finest. This guy like okay, and then he does this thing where he. Breaks her nose and arm and locks her in a closet for in his laundry room, excuse me, for three days. Possibly guilty of you know, domestic violence or whatever. Yes, maybe he is in his due process. Okay? Why? Because he's black. And we gotta stop that. We gotta stop that. That's wrong. Speaking speaking of the white privilege, so I've been pulled over for speeding tickets and traffic violations before. Not in a long time, but you know when I was younger, a new driver. But I, um, it was always when I when I'd get pulled over, it's like, oh shit, this is gonna cost me some money. Uh, insurance premiums, it might go up a little bit. Um, I never had the thought of, oh my god, am I gonna be racially profiled? Oh my god, statistic in the news. Never once have I had that thought. But that's a common thought for every, every black person that ever gets pulled over for whatever reason they might get pulled over for. So that's a, a pretty good example, I think, of white privilege that I that I recognize. And also, you know, like things don't have to be exclusive, okay? Like you can support Black Lives Matter and support black people not being senselessly killed by police, like over like abusing their and you can support police. The good police. The good police. And support yes. and support systemic change within the policing culture and how they're trained. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do either or. You can do all of those things. It's okay to have all of those emotions, all of them, all at once. Out within yourself and love yourself just the same. Anything else? No, I think that's about it. What do you think? I'll just remind everyone, when you show up peacefully protesting, show up with your hog ties and duct tape, and when someone gets out of line with violence, throw that piece of hog tie Lead with your heart. Lead with your heart and passion, and rage directed in the approach. Absolutely, and be kind and loving. We're all fighting battles that you probably know nothing about. And if somebody doesn't agree with you and they think that you're terrible because you support Black Lives Matter, it's probably because there's something within them that they haven't quite accepted yet. Or just completely um, misinformed about what the movement means. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So let's try to educate and be better angels. Have a good night, Facebook. Bye. I love you all. Mwah.